The Honorable Member for Virgil LaPoyle. Mr. Speaker, the Department of Justice is the lead department on Bill 42 to amend electoral boundaries. The Minister of Justice is responsible for presenting this report in the House, but she can't because she's not elected and she's not allowed in this House. I assume the Minister took part in Cabinet deliberations and had to present the plan to Cabinet, but she has yet to speak publicly on the rationale. So I ask the Premier, how can government justify placing such a responsibility in the hands of an unelected Minister who refuses to face the people of the province and cannot answer questions from this House? Here, here. The Honourable the Premier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, uh, I've said time and time again that uh, we as a government, we would bring legislation before this House. We would conduct the affairs of the province. We would continue to deliver le legislation no matter what department it, it, it comes from. And if it's justice and public safety, we're going to continue to deliver those legislations, Mr. Speaker. We're here doing that here in January because it's an important piece of legislation. If we're truly committed, if we're truly committed to electoral reform, if we're community, uh, committed to, to changing our boundaries and, and updating our boundaries, Mr. Speaker, we need to come into the legislature to do that. We're doing that now. We have, a, we have government here who's ready to deliver on that. We're ready to, to debate it, Mr. Speaker. We're here in the House to do it, and we're, we're looking forward to the opportunity to, to debate the substance of the bill, Mr. Speaker. The Honorable Member for Virgil LaPoyle. Mr. Speaker, Judy Manning is getting paid to hold a responsibility that she cannot discharge. How can the Premier justify having a paid, unelected minister who is incapable of discharging her own duties? So I ask the Premier, everything's on the table? Is Judy Manning's position on the table too? The Honourable the Premier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The minister continues to carry out the work that, that uh, she's been tasked with, with doing. She, uh, she, Order, she's please. been part of this process, like all ministers have, Mr. Speaker. We've been very engaged in the process that brings us to this legislature today. We've been Order, engaged please. as a cabinet. We've been engaged as a caucus, Mr. Speaker. And we've heard from numerous people through Newfoundland and Labrador. This is not a new discussion, Mr. Speaker. I had this very significant discussions. I did. Uh, the uh, Minister of Health has had numerous discussions on this in the last year about the importance that people place on, on House of Assembly reform, reforming pensions for MHAs. I've said I'm going to do it, and I'm doing it, Mr. Speaker. Reform the operations, day-to-day -day operations of the House of Assembly, Mr. Speaker. I said I'm going to do it. I'm doing it, Mr. Speaker. And we're here today to debate the size of the House of Assembly, Mr. Speaker. Order, please.